Do you ever go to shake hands with a guy and he doesn't notice? <laughs> and you go... <laughs> and you have to make believe it's something you do all the time, you know? <laughs> something I picked up in college. Seen you at the supermarket. A lot of things happen in the supermarket that we all, I think, experience when we're there. Obviously, it doesn't happen to you when you're not there. <laughs> but uh, little things like, have you ever selected an item at the supermarket and begun to put it in someone else's basket by mistake? You feel alien for a moment. It's like, ooh, oh. I almost put that in his basket. My basket. My basket. Uh, I know it's mine. Yes. Not the macaroni and the cupcakes, that's mine. My goodness, look at this here. We're going to... Oh, we have a little trouble with the mic? Oh, yeah. Okay, tell uh, Johnson I'll call him at the end of the week. Figure why not utilize the contact to pass along information. No wasted things. <laughs> well, let's see if the jokes get any better. We've got a new microphone. Where was I? Oh, yes, I believe I was over here. <laughs> supermarket. Did you ever in the supermarket walk away with someone else's cart? They get mad. <laughs> hey, come here, that's my stuff. <laughs> Not yet, it isn't. <laughs> Still belongs to all of us. <laughs> and if I want to shop out of your cart, I'll shop out of your cart. <laughs> you got any scallions? Okay, let him go. Did you ever look at someone else's cart and say, ooh, god damn, look what they eat. Ugh. <laughs> Do this, get your cart full, get a full cart, a whole mound of groceries. And fill up the bottom part too. You know what goes down there, case of Shasta, large box of Tide. Get the whole thing full and go on down to the checkout counter and look for somebody with just one item. <laughs> and ask him if you can get ahead of him. Pardon me, you might? Yeah, pardon me. You might if I get ahead of you? Okay. All I have is a full cart. <laughs> Did you ever try to go through the express lane with more than the prescribed number of items? You have to give them the quick count? One. <laughs> two. Three. 111 packs of francs. It's all one item. <laughs> Go ahead. It's quicker than arguing. I find the best way to go shopping at the supermarket is to be a little hungry. Don't eat for a couple of days. <laughs> Two days is just about right. You go any longer than that, you begin to hallucinate and all the cans look the same. <laughs> but Two days is pretty nice. And get good and hungry. And then smoke eight joints, take $500, and go to the supermarket. <laughs> you buy everything. Canned cans. <laughs> Just what I need. <laughs> and things you really love, you buy two of them. Because you know you're going to eat one as soon as you get home. <laughs> but you get over a few aisles in that condition and you realize that, <clears throat> well, you've overdone it a little bit. You have a motorcade of carts. <laughs> complete with tow hitches and reflector raincoats, man. You've lost control again. And whenever you spend too much money in the supermarket, you have to start putting back some of the expensive items. Like ham, canned ham, eight dollars, fuck ham, boom. <laughs> Get some more junior mint, Sonny, I put the ham back. 
Yeah, when, you know the nice thing about putting things back in the supermarket, when you return an item, you know where you put it, don't you? You put it anywhere you want. <laughs> they expect that. Ah, put it anywhere, Marge. They don't care. They don't give a shit. They have guys who straighten that out. <laughs> guys with purple fingers come around at midnight. In the morning, everything is back. It's the mystery of the supermarket. Uh, did you ever go to the supermarket in the head neighborhood? Obviously you have. Did you ever go to the supermarket in any neighborhood where people are getting a little higher than they are in the average neighborhood? Which is pretty high already when you think about it. But any neighborhood that's near a university or near an old, uh, an old beatnik ghetto, you know, or, or, or a bohemian area, hippie neighborhood, you know, the supermarket in that area. Go into the supermarket in the head neighborhood and take a look at the cookie section, man. Looks like a war zone. <laughs> Half the packages are open. <laughs> and all the good cookies are gone. <laughs> Where the hell are the Malomars? <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't get them in the store. They line up at the truck for Malomar. There's always lots of shitty cookies, you know? <laughs> Local cookies. <laughs> Fucking Jim's cookies. <laughs> 63 varieties. Man, if you can't make cookies in 62 tries, leave me out, man. <laughs> I don't want to be part of your experiment, Jim. Hey, you know, in the supermarket, I'm really a sucker at the checkout line. Well, I'm kind of an impulse buyer, you know? Anything that's hanging up, I want it. <laughs> Give me a case of C batteries, please. <laughs> Dozen razors, subscription to uh, Women's Day, and how about that uh, cash register? Is that for sale by any chance? <laughs> it's a lovely model. <laughs> I think that'll be it. Oh, no, gotta buy the bargain of the week, you know. The garbage can full of juicy fruit. <laughs> 44 cents, shit, can't go wrong. <laughs> you never need gum again. <laughs> hey, Marge, we're set on gum. <laughs> that would be a good feeling, you know, to be really ahead on one commodity. Never have to worry about it again, you know. Like, buy some, yeah, sneakers. Hey, let me have 66 pairs of sneakers, would you please? <laughs> shit, that's it, never have to sweat that again. Never have to shop for sneakers again as long as I live. <laughs> you know, that's got to make you feel good. <laughs> and you go on to other things, you know. Now the real work. <laughs>